What's going on guys? Let's do this problem right here. This question is asking a particle with charge negative 5 coulomb initially moves at velo velocity this vector and if it encounters a magnetic field B is equal to 10 Tesla find the magnetic force vector on the particles. So let's see how we can find the magnetic force. So force equal for magnetic force uh, equation is given by force is equal to Q times V cross B. So this is what we are going to do. We know this charge that is negative 5 coulomb. So this is going to be negative 5 times the velocity is this value. This is 1 in the i direction plus 7 in the j direction, right? And then we have to cross this one with this one, 10 tesla. So 10 tesla in the k direction, right? And let's do the cross uh, crossing and see what we get. So here we are going to use this pattern right here. So we have I, J, and K, right? So first we are going to cross I cross K. I cross K is opposite side, right? So this is going to be negative J. So I cross K we are going to get negative J. So this is going to be negative 10J. And then we have 7J. 7j cross k j cross j cross k is going to be positive i right j cross k is going to be positive i so this is going to be positive 70 i right so this is what we have now let's multiply everything by 5 and this is going to be equal to plus 10j plus 10 i mean plus 50j plus 50j minus 350i now let's them array let's arrange this one in i ijk format so this is going to be minus 350i plus 50j newton and that's going to be the final answer uh, now let's go ahead and do the next question Next question is asking, a uh, wire carries 4 ampere current along the x-axis through a magnetic field B. So B is given by this value. If the wire experiences a force of 30 Newton in the k direction, as a result of how long is the wire? So let's see how we can find it. So first of all, uh, here what we are trying to find, we are find, trying to find the length. So that's the question. So let's go ahead and find the equation for this. So first of all, uh, the equation that is re related to length is f is equal to i times l cross b, right? We know the force that's provided, 30 newton. So let's put this one right here. This is k direction. And then we have i current, that is 4 ampere. And then we have, we have to find the length. That's the question, right? Length and the current. This is uh, the wire is along the x-axis. So this is going to be L i in the i direction. Length is going to be i vector cross b. B value is given by this one. 5 i plus 7 j. Right? Now let's go ahead and cross this thing and see what we get. So here we have Li. I cross i is going to be 0. So we can eliminate this part. These two doesn't make anything. I cross j. I cross j is positive k, right? I cross j is positive k. So this is going to be positive k, right? Yes. So this is going to be 4 times 7 L k. Right? Since both of them are in the k direction, we can divide them divide them and find the value. So this is going to, L is going to be equal to 30 k over 28 k, right? And if you calculate this value, that's going to give you 1.07 meter. And that's going to be the answer for this question. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.